these cricket playing nations who had some really good battles against the West Indies who were extremely excited to travel to the West Indies to get, a, get the atmosphere, the weather the, and get a good challenge they are disappointed that the West Indies are losing their place because the question was asked is it good for cricket or bad for cricket but it is actually good and bad at the same time because those old players they're attached to the West Indies they got they have good memories to the West Indies not just West Indies welcome again to rewrite the narrative where it is okay to be curious please like share and subscribe and drop a comment now the West Indies president Ricky Skirt he promised a post-mortem into why the West Indies suffered such a tragic death yes they got dropped out they got kicked out in the first round and by the way Ireland is no joke Ireland they beat England today they beat England in a match showing that it was no fluke Ireland did a very good job and I asked the question is it is the West Indies dropping out of the World Cup so quickly good or bad for cricket and it depends on how you look at it it is not bad it's not good it's not bad for cricket not good for West Indies but if you look at it you'll find that Ireland is a team that leveled up and the West Indies is a team that regressed they went backward instead of forward and we have an opportunity to start going forward again right now we have that opportunity to start from the ground up and with the coach stepping out this opened an opportunity for a legendary coach to be born and this also put the West Indies in a position where we don't have to expect too much from them not right now we cannot expect too much from the West Indies going forward because we are losing to Scotland and to Ireland so the expectation is at an all time low which put the West Indies in a very good position also because we know that we have the talent but we don't have the expectation which is a burden we just need to get a coach who wants to win a coach that is used to the concept of winning and wants to win we also need some fans who are less forgiving than what we have right now the fans who are saying that give him give them more time give them more chances those fans need to get just reevaluate re your perspective also all right Ricky Skerritt has been there for four years um, as a president of the West Indies cricket board and that's a lot of years to lose so many to have so many poor results the problem starts at the top the, re the the selection panel is it that you're not selecting properly is it that you don't have a voice whatever the case might be I think you should also step aside we saw where um, coach Simmons he, he tendered his resignation the Saturday evening we only found out about it on the the Monday so he, he did not wait to tender his resignation he resigned because of pride he had pride he, he, he didn't just want to stick around and said okay I'm going to beat this dead horse he, he, he resigned because of pride and I know also that it's not easy to just resign and then find a new coach a new president but we I think um, the president should put in place something that would help him to resign and somebody to replace him in the interim you know get rid of the just come out come out quickly no if we're gonna do a postmortem on the players the players in the West Indies team they do not have a permanent spot the only person in the West Indies team for the past couple of years who had a spot that was legitimately their spot would have been the captain the captain had a spot and you know that you must play with the captain so the captain is gonna be in the team um, so is there other than that we don't have an opener that is a confirmed opener other than in the test team we know that Bratwaite is an opener but other than in the in the other formats the openers they, we don't have an opener we don't have a player that they're gonna just stick with win lose our draw in the time of Chris Gale Chris Gale was an opener that we knew who was going to produce and he was and that was his spot we know that Chanda Paul was always in the team up there were very few players who was rotated in and out of the team and we had talent we always had talent it's just that the players were given an opportunity and the coaches at that time also knew what was the best position for their player and they had a game plan when they had a game plan they also had opponents who were playing to win now the opponents are playing just to play because the West Indies are part of the ICC approved group of people that plays cricket we saw Ricky Pantin as I said we can't say it enough just looking at the image he was very disappointed Shaib Akhtar very disappointed Varinda Sewa, very disappointed. These cricket playing nations who had some really good battles against the West Indies who were extremely excited to travel to the West Indies to get, a, get the atmosphere, the weather the, and get a good challenge. They are disappointed that the West Indies are losing their place because the question was asked, is it good for cricket or bad for cricket? But it is actually good and bad at the same time because 
those old players they're attached to the West Indies they got they have good memories to the West Indies not just West Indies players you know how we have good memories about the three W's the Walsh the Ambrose the Roberts the Viv Richards and all those and the Laras it's the same way how the opponent have very good memories very good memories of defeating or winning against those great players now when a player when a group of people come a group of West Indies a group of cricket teams come to the West Indies right now they have no real memories they leave without feeling like they played a good series because they're wondering is this the best that the West Indies really can produce so the postmortem on the West Indies team is that the West Indies cricketers the batsmen the bowlers the fielders they are not given the opportunity to play as a team long enough because there are so many players waiting for their shot and the, the and it almost seems like the management have to give the players a shot while without having to without selecting the elite team from the team select select an elite team and then you help the other players who are not elite to go and play the mediocre cricket but if you're gonna have a world team a West Indies team they should be elite and the West Indies failed to find the elite team and they also need to find an elite coach and a manager with a business mind yes Ricky Skirt is a tourism manager but not necessarily one that is in a modern situation no like what cricket is West Indies need to take a book a page out of the Indian book India is a financial hub for cricket West Indies should and could have been a financial hub for cricket in many ways West Indies have many islands that are all tourist related and they could have been a destination where people would have gone to visit enjoy themselves and watch cricket but the West Indies team need to improve so I'm gonna leave this one right here because I'm not in the environment for making this so drop a comment down below and let me know how you what you think do you think that the West Indies players need to be reassessed or should it be the, the president's turn to give a statement about who next who is next to leave because we're curious to see if only um, the coach will take the burden of this one and will it continue to be a favoritism kind of environment because naturally the favorite players are not living up to expectation and the fans somehow it seems like the fans would have had some kind of say in how, who gets put on the pitch or on the field but that's not necessarily the truth in the case of a real team a real group of a, a corporation the cost the customer have a say in what the corporation produce but the quality and the integrity of the product that really depends on the, the cost the, the corporation they have to determine if they're going to produce quality products rewrite the narrative like share and subscribe